Business is full of ups and downs, so it helps to have a flexible way to pay. Try Business Essentials from O2 Business, the most flexible business tariff around. So this is what you start off with, a Raspberry Pi 3, four USB ports, an Ethernet port, micro uh, USB for power, HDMI, 3.5mm jack, and a micro SD card slot for the entire operating system. And that's what I've got in my hand here, the entire operating system, and it's Raspbian, which is a Linux version that is really, really well optimized for the Raspberry Pi, and you can download it from Raspberry Pi's website. I'm gonna talk you through how to basically connect everything up to this, what to expect when you flick on the screen. Before I do, if you're not already subscribed to BTEC, subscribing helps us out massively, so do it. Back to the Raspberry Pi. First thing you wanna do once you've got the SD card loaded up with your operating system is just slide it in the bottom part of the Raspberry Pi. Next up, you'll wanna connect an input device, so whether it's a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard or a wired one. We've got a Bluetooth one that's connected to this dongle, and luckily it works off the bat, which is ace. You don't need to actually even load up the entire operating system for it to register. Um, in the addition, you will want some internet. Sure, this thing has Wi-Fi, but for extra security and peace of mind, we have a wired connection going on as well. Next up, it is all about getting it connected to the TV via a regular HDMI. And as you can see, so far there's not been anything exceptional here doing any connecting or anything like that. And in fact, when we put the last piece together, which is the power, it's all just super, super easy, super standard. And you can see instantly, it's just started firing up Raspbian on the TV in the background. And now we've got Raspbian loaded up. You can see you've got this desktop, you've got a waste paper basket, and it's not necessarily familiar in terms of a Windows experience if you've never used Linux before, but you've got a drop down bar, which is effectively your start menu, and you've got applications off the bat. Now out of the box, 35 bucks gets you an office suite. It's LibreOffice, um, and it's relatively comprehensive if what you need to do is write documents, view PowerPoint, or edit PowerPoint presentations to a basic level, even a more advanced level than you might probably think. Um, and you've also got a web browser as well. Um, suffice to say, this is oriented towards programmers and learning how to program. So there's an entire tab dedicated to programming, but there's really, really a lot of versatility with Linux generally that enables you to take control over the whole interface. You can also install other versions of Linux too. Um, I mentioned yesterday in our hands-on, people have installed Chromium, the uh, Chrome OS um, kind of take, which is open source on the Raspberry Pi as well. Now you can see for heavy intensive sites like YouTube, it'll run a little bit slow. This might also in part come down to our internet connection, but you can indeed play YouTube videos if you have a little bit of patience. Maybe not full HD, but if you get enough optimization going on here, you can output 720p full screen, get a decent movie experience. You've got HDMI audio um, from there, and you've also got, like I said, that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. So this is a web browser that um, the actual operating system ships with. You've also got things like a file explorer, for example, file manager, um, and terminals so you can manually input uh, commands, etc. But you can see I'm effectively multitasking now on a 35 buck computer with a video playing in the background, file explorer in the foreground. And yeah, it's playing and <laughs> in itself, that's pretty impressive. So you can even hook up stuff like Plex to um, Linux devices um, and turn the $35 Raspberry Pi into something of a media center, even if it won't be the full HD thing that we are all used to. Basic web browsing, email handling, uh, document viewing, even game playing, there's Minecraft Pi on here as well. Um, all that will be absolutely dandy, which really does make me think to myself, this here thing right here, this open top PC, is amazing. If you've got any questions about the Raspberry Pi, want us to try anything out, or have had any experiences with either the one, two, or three, let us know in the comments section below. We want to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching BTEC. If you like the video, click like, and if you like the channel in general, subscribe. That is how you are going to stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching.